Hello and welcome to another one of our how-to videos. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your, your Wi-Fi and router details on your Orisec CK20 control panel. So maybe you've had a new router or maybe you've changed your existing router's Wi-Fi password. You'll need to basically reconfigure the control panel to allow your app to work again on your phone. So to do that, what you want to do is enter your four digit number. So that's the number that you use to turn your alarm on or off. So in this case, it's one, two, three, four. Now I'll ask you if you want to full arm the system. So what we're going to do is press the down button here until we find change settings. So there we go. Once you find change settings, press the right arrow. Then what we want to do is press the down arrow until we see Wi-Fi status and checks. So press the right arrow again. It should, sorry, I just bumped the camera there. It should automatically scan and pick things up, but if it doesn't, see on the screen how it says X to scan, you just press the X button, which is located here, and that'll automatically scan your networks. What you want to do, as you, as you see, there's a few here. If, you, if yours isn't at the top, you just press down and select it, but mine's is at the top. So what we're going to do is you need to press the tick button, which is here, enter, to access it. So what you do is press the tick. You'll see it's spinning around in a wee circle there. It does take a little bit of time uh, to log on. So we'll just give that a few seconds. Hopefully that's enough time. So what we're going to do now is press the back button and then press down. So see how it says comms modules, press the right arrow, then you'll see Wi-Fi settings. So this is how we're going to put in the actual password. All we've done at this point in time is selected the router that we're going to log on to. So if we've done it right, so press down, get to Wi-Fi settings, press the right arrow. Your router name should already be in here. If it's not there, you haven't, you haven't given your, your panel enough time. Um, you know when we pressed enter on the top top router, if you've not got it here, then you need to go back to that last step and not do it, do it all again, basically. So now what we want to do is put the password in. So press down, you see password, so press the right arrow. So I'm just going to put in a, a random password here just to, just to show you some things. But there's a couple of ways you can do this. So I'm, I'm just going to write password, uh, something simple with uppercase and lowercase uh, letters. So you can actually use the numbers here. You'll see them all labelled with the letters on them. Or you can just use the arrows. So if I want to write password, capital P, just press enter. If you want to do a lowercase a, you can just scroll it all the way back. Tick it. Or the other way you can do it is, because I'm going to write password, so I need a double S now. I'm going to just use number 7 because the S is on it. So you just keep pressing it till you get to S. Okay, I'm going to press enter because we're already on the S. If you want an uppercase W, so you can either just keep scrolling through the arrow or you can press the W, which is number 9, until you get into the capital letters. There we go. And the O. And R, which is on number 7, so I have to press that three times. Password. Now, like I say, you can just scroll right through them because there will be some symbols. There you go, so you've got your brackets, arrows, pound signs and all sorts of things, hash. You know, all everything's in there. Once you've written what you need to write, just press back. See my password's already, already written in there, so that's fine. Just keep pressing back, 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 until you see exit the menu. If you're happy with that, press enter. And that's you back to the start. Just make sure that you try your, your app on your phone. If you've done it right, it should work. Failing that, you'll have to go back into the settings and do it all again, I'm afraid. I hope that video was helpful and thanks for watching.